the stingrays. They're still here. 60 gallon cylinder tank, 1200 bucks. Ready to go. Whatever this dart lands on, we buy. Here we go. Three, two, one. What is going on pros? Welcome back to another video. One of my favorite videos to make is this one right here. Either a spin the wheel video or a dart video. I love doing these videos because they're so mysterious. I never know what's going to happen. And today we're throwing a dart at a map full of fish and whenever it hits, we buy. Simple as that. Before I start though, I did this a while back and I'm just going to roll a clip to just see how different not only this room looks, but me. I look like, well I got the haircut so I look kind of like that. But picture me like two days ago compared to this. <laughs> what fish are you gonna choose? Mm -hmm. Try to try to get. Try to get. I'm gonna just throw the dart. No, no, no. <laughs> no, okay. Right here. That guy? Yeah, Alright. He's there. gonna try to land on the bala shark. Here we go. Ready? Bala shark, here we go. Go! Oh my gosh, what was that? Oh the crayfish! The crayfish! <laughs> and this is that room now. I mean so different now, man. Look, I literally kept the exact, I need my phone light because it's so dang. I kept the exact piece of paper and I've, as you can see, since been throwing the dart at it for fun. The dart's right here. But yeah, this is pretty much the gist of it. We're going to make a new map and then we're going to throw this dart at the map. Let's make a map. Check my map out. I made my own state. So in every single one of these boxes, there will be a different fish species. And I come up with the fish species just off the top of my head, what do I want? These are all gonna be things that I want and could physically take care of and have. So, give my brain a second to just calculate. And I'm gonna write down different fish and stuff that we can get right here on this piece of paper. Let's do it. All right, we have gotten the paper fully done. Stingray, lionfish. Turtle, bass, arowana, eel, frontosa, red tail. Those are all the species. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different things that we can hit. And to be quite honest with you, I don't even know what I'd want to hit. Let me know what you want me to hit down in the comments down below out of this whole entire list right here. If I had to guess any, I'd probably go, I, as much as I don't like these fish, arowanas, because I just jump out constantly on many and every single one of them happen to find a little this hole to get out of the pond or tank. Arowana would be the one I want to hit out of this group. Maybe a lionfish, but I don't really have a predatory tank, so we'd have to go get a whole predatory tank if I hit that. Eel would be cool too, but I think arowana. Frontosas are dope, red tails are cool, uh, turtles of course, got plenty of those, bass, and then stingray. So, I don't know, you let me know what you think I should hit down below. I tell you what though, I'm gonna hang this up on the wall. We're gonna get a dart throwing. Yes, I'm gonna make a hole in my wall for the sacrifice of this banger. The trick is you do this video behind a picture. That way when you put the picture back up, you don't see the hole that this dart makes. That landed on turtle, but that doesn't count. I, I'm actually very surprised I hit the board. All right, what do you say we take like a practice shot? This doesn't count. Even if I hit what I want, I can't do it. We'll go from a couple different distances and see which, which. Okay, I completely missed. Oh, I completely missed again. This corner of the kitchen. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm not even hitting the map. Sideways shot. Oh my, oh, it's literally, uh oh, that might not be good. Oh, it didn't go through, thank gosh. I'm so sorry. Okay, listen, this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. I, I just missed it from two feet away. Now we're about to get ready to throw the dart and actually see whatever this lands on we buy. Before we do it, Smash the like button. If we hit 20,000 likes on this video, I'll do this in a massive scale. Like make a big map and maybe put like farm animals on it or something. That'd be cool. Smash the like button if you want to see me do that. Now without further ado, let's get throwing. In three, two, one. This means a lot, man. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. Oh my gosh, I missed. Keep going until we hit it. I ain't too mad about that. I'll be quite honest, I'm really not. Frontosa, baby. Check it. Ugh. Hole in the frontosa. <laughs> 
Don't play with darts, kids. It's not safe. Well, we hit Frontosa. I'm excited for this one. Although we don't need this anymore. Gotta put my grandpa's painting back up. Thanks, Pops. Perfect. The dart determined what we got. And y'all know, the Frontosa, really beautiful sick. Thank you, dart. Wow, the camera really focused on that thing. Hey. Thank you so much. Without further ado, I'm gonna throw this dart and you're gonna go to the pet store. Look at all the nano tanks up front now. There was never this many, and there's a lot. Bunch of shrimp. 60 gallon cylinder tank, 1200 bucks, but that would be cool, like, right when you walk into the house, that was like, if you had a big enough living room, of course. Big tanks, man, they got a lot of tanks. No shortage of that, that's for sure, look at them all. The stingrays, they're still here. They're still here. Look at that. I want one so bad. These bushelnose plecos right here are super cool too. Got a bunch of them. Big old knife fish back there. I believe the big one's sold, but this one is not. We got starfish. We got shrimp. This place has a lot. Woo! Lots of little fish. Little mollies, platies. Got some grommies. Some balloon mollies. Look at these guys. Yeah. Funny looking fish. Brings me back to the mini pond days. Good old times. Clown loaches. Oh my gosh, clown loaches. Look how established this saltwater tank is right here. Super, super pretty. I show it every time, but it kind of looks different every time. I won't lie. That is the largest PJ Cardinal I have ever seen. And there's cuttlefish in here that he's trying to grow right now. Cuttlefish, $20, no guaranteed. But you could buy a cuttlefish. I don't see any of the babies in there right now. He got them as eggs, but let me show you what a cuttlefish looks like. That's a cuttlefish swimming. Or, if you want to call that moving. Super weird. <gasps> Ferret. Hey, bud. <coughs> oh my goodness, you are adorable. It's all white. It's the cutest thing ever, but look at him. He's like, I can't wait to find an owner. If you guys are looking to get a ferret, and you will show it the proper amount of time, because I think bunnies and ferrets are two of the most neglected animals after purchase. A lot of people buy them, and a week, two weeks in, they completely just forget they even own them. And... But look at this little guy. He needs a home. All white. I would get him, but my ferret doesn't like other ferrets, so that wouldn't work. Always has so much variety, and I don't even want to, I'm telling you, I'm trying to look away from the saltwater stuff, because if I look at it, I'm in trouble. Pretty sure Tommy actually wants to get one of these, or at least something that looks similar to that, for the tank here soon. These are little saltwater catfish. As you can see, see them right there in saltwater. And then I just saw them over here too. Look, boom. In fresh water. Kind of crazy. Fresh water, salt water. Dude, these are the biggest firefish I've ever seen in my entire life. Biggest ones. Look at the size. I mean, that's almost the size of my finger. That shrimp is cool looking. The colors of some of these shrimp. That's some sort of like lobster. And then over here we got the blood shrimp, which you know, we have one of those. Next to that is this weird shrimp I'm trying to get a good angle on it I mean what the heck is that thing that is really really weird the only shrimp that I know of over here is the blood shrimp and then coral bandit shrimp right here the coral bandit shrimp is what I want to get for my tank next there's another one right there hanging on the rock enough blabbing we all know what we landed on frontosa cichlid really cool fish I couldn't be more excited for a fish like this to be in the pond I think it's gonna get along great with the Oscars. I've had these in the past. I mean, it's been a while, but I've had them in the past, and if they could deal with other cichlids, they can most definitely live with some Oscars. And this one in particular is a good enough size to where I don't think it's gonna get messed with too much. All right, I'm telling you, I got lost in this place. Let's get a bag, get our fish bagged up. Well, mister, you are all mine. That darn dart landed on you. Nothing else but you. Can you take me serious with this colorful mask on? It's the only one I had. Actually, it's not even mine. I think these are like alcoholic drinks on there. I think, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't give you a hard time. He looks like he's got a bunch of friends protecting him right now from getting netted. Look at him in the back corner, he's like, no! I need one of these things right here. This is what I could pet Gary with. Literally, I have to keep my distance. Avoiding the big old stingrays and down to 
Ron toast a perfect scoop. Oh, oh, I did I drink it? Oh, no, but he got me wet. All right. There you go, bud. Got him. We are back home and the pond looks so good. I mean, it is just so crystal clear. The temperature is nice and perfect, especially for a cichlid. It's nice and warm. We are gonna get as simple as this, the fish out of the box and get it to acclimating. My favorite fish in this whole entire pond are the top surface fish. Now, of course, I love my platinum red tails. You can never go wrong with a nice platinum red tail or even the phantom that's in there. But these Oscars that come up to my finger are my favorite. And I feel like this pond tosa could be a very cool fish once trained like the other fish. Frontosa for the pond. Acclimating and then we're gonna get it into its new home. My hair's so short. See ya in like mm, 10 minutes. All right. Oh my gosh, dude. Don't fall, okay, Pharaoh? Stop rocking back and forth. Don't fall. Fish is ready to go. Wow. That thing is beautiful. The hump on the head is so cool. And the blue uh, tips on the bottom of those little bottom fins there, there's like little fins that come out. Oh, this fish is super chill. Wow, look at that. Look at that, how pretty. All right. It's got like a blue tint to it right now. So, wow, and the colors are just brightening as it's sitting down there. Dude, the colors are insane on that fish. All the Oscars are right here already. They don't care. They're just wondering what the heck it was. Nothing like aggressive though yet. That's a crazy looking fish. The moment it hit the water compared to what the colors it was in the bag was crazy different. Whole blueness, all that blue, that color came right out of them. Sitting right here right now and it looks amazing. Let me get the, the camera. Get this out of here. I don't want to get the water in it. Oh my gosh, bro. It, it is, it's highlight. I didn't even know they looked like that. I really didn't. It's it's like a highlighter blue. Hi Ty. Hi. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh wow. It's like blue. That's cool. It's called the frontosa. That thing is so sick. Right? Oh, and it yeah. looks like it's getting along with everything. The red tails aren't messing with it. Well, Kaferos, that was a dart throwing video. We've done it before, way in the past, as you know. That video did amazing. So about a year later, I did another one. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, let me know in the comments down below. Smash the like button. Let's see if we get 20,000 likes. Go check out the merch top link in the description. Love each and every one of you so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Oh my god, I bought a fish and didn't even get it.